Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. What I'm going to do is something very interesting and very special today, which is to try to predict every possible introduction of a new models from Toyota for this year in 2022 and also for next year in 2023. So I'm going to put my thinking cap on and try to predict every possible debut. Now please keep in mind that this is based on my personal and professional opinion. It doesn't represent anything official from Toyota. So let's get into it. Welcome back. So I'm going to try to predict every single new model introductions for this year and next year, model by model. Let's start with Tundra, which is the easiest one to do because the new model has already come out. And the only thing that we have to wait for is the hybrid version, which include the TRD Pro version. And from everything I'm hearing, Tundra introductions are all on time, and we're not expecting any major delays with the Tundra hybrid models, including the TRD Pro. So come April and May, the Tundra hybrids should begin to show up in dealership. And if you did put a deposit or order one earlier, then they should all be arriving just in time around April, May, June timeframe. And even the Tundra TRD Pro that I purchased is supposed to be arriving in June or July, more or less on time. So I'm very excited about that. Um, nothing else happening with the Tundra. I don't expect anything changing for the 2023 model year. They will likely switch around some of the options and trim packages and also perhaps introduce new colors or take away some colors. Lots of speculation as to what color will become the TRD Pro exclusive color for the fall of 2023. So that's something that I'm still thinking about. And of course, a solar octane was a unique color for this year. So we're looking forward to something different in the fall. If you look at the spectrum of the TRD Pro colors, they go from kind of a greenish yellow to uh, red, which is the solar octane. So I expect that the color will be somewhere in between, maybe more of an orange or maybe more of a red. We're not quite sure which way we'll go, but uh, of course we'll find out shortly. Now what about the Sequoia? I think the Sequoia is also arriving in time and should be on sale, arriving at the dealership July, August timeframe. We already know a lot about the Sequoia and the Sequoia TRD Pro, so not much to report there. But if you're wondering if it's gonna be delayed three, four, six months later because of the chip shortages, part shortages, and everything else that's happening in the world, my understanding is that the Sequoia will show up on time and the dealers will begin to receive inventory July, August timeframe. So hopefully that means even the TRD Pro version of the Sequoia will show up in August, September timeframe. I actually do have a deposit on the Sequoia TRD Pro as well. So once I get the Tundra TRD Pro and I keep it for a few months or longer, and if I can get really good trading value for that, who knows, I might trade up to Sequoia TRD Pro. Let's wait and see. So that covers the Tundra and Sequoia. What else is happening? Well, the interesting news from Japan is that the GR Supra, which I used to own for the last couple of years or so, is also introducing the manual transmission. You have been hearing about that for a while now, but according to Japanese media and Japanese sources, that is now 100% confirmed. And interesting enough to celebrate the manual transmission release, they are also uh, introducing a special color, which is matte white. I don't know what it's going to be called yet, but apparently it's going to be in the form of a limited edition model in Japan, which means we will likely also get that color. So perhaps the uh, GR Supra with a manual transmission will have some kind of a special version of it with a matte white color, which will be really cool. The GR Supra that I owned was sold about uh, three, four months ago, but that was a metallic white and it was a really nice color. So I can just imagine in the matte white is going to be really cool. And of course, with the manual transmission, it's gonna be an amazing car to drive. Even though I don't plan to buy the Supra again, I really look forward to driving it, perhaps in the media preview, because that car is a lot of fun to drive. Now, assuming that the GR Supra follows a similar cycle as last couple of years, I think the uh, manual transmission and the matte white will be introduced sometime this summer for sale in the fall. So that covers the GR Supra. What else is happening this year? Well, the big news, of course, is the GR Corolla, which all of us are waiting for. That's one of the most exciting debut because it's going to follow in the footsteps of the GR Yaris. While perhaps the GR Corolla wouldn't be as aggressive as a GR Yaris, it's going to carry the same spirit because it's going to have the same engine, more or less, 
same kind of transmission and very similar suspension as well. So it will have a lot of the character of the GR Yaris and most likely it will still be built in Motomachi factory in Japan under the guidance of Takumi Sensei or Takumi coaches. So that would be a very special car. But getting back into timing, I think the GR Corolla should come out this fall. September, October time frame is what uh, we're seeing from some of the rumors which means that they're going to introduce it very soon because we keep seeing the teaser photos and images the last several months. Is it possible that Toyota might even introduce at the New York Auto Show, which is next month? I think that's a very good possibility. So I think it'll be really exciting if the GR Corolla gets introduced in April and then a few months later we actually get to drive it. So that's something that we are very much looking forward to. Now what about the electric cars from Toyota, which is going to be the big push from Toyota for the next several years? Well, we already know that the BZ4X will be coming out very soon. In fact, I'll be driving in a couple of weeks time for full review from uh, Media Preview Day, and uh, I will be able to give you my perspective on how that car performs on the road. But we already know that it's going to be on sale next month or two for delivery sometime in summertime. So BZ4X is just coming around the corner and the real question is, is there other iterations of the Beyond Zero models which are fully electric coming out this year? I don't think we're going to get any more this year. Of course, there will be a Lexus version of the electric cars uh, coming out later in the summer and more on that later on a separate video. But in terms of Toyota, nothing else other than BZ4X this year. And in 2023 calendar year, which is next year, I presume they will introduce another variation of the Beyond Zero models. Perhaps it could be the sedan or maybe even the uh, truck version, which is going to be similar in size to the Toyota Tacoma. Okay, so the electric cars are very exciting, but let's carry on to talk about other models that should be introduced this year because we're also going to see the new Toyota Crown. Now, if you're thinking of the current Toyota Crown, which is sold in Japan and other parts of Asia, they tend to be used to chauffeur executive and CEOs in Japan. It's a very formal, traditional, conservative car. But everything we're hearing from Japan is that the new Crown will be quite different. It's going to be more like an Audi A7 than it is more like Audi A6 because it's going to be a five-door hatchback from what we hear and therefore it's going to be kind of a crossover. And this way they can offer a bit of a practicality that's offered in crossovers but with the styling and elegance of a four-door slash five-door uh, fastbacks. So that could be a really interesting model to look into it. In fact, I have a deposit on Crown because I've always loved Crowns as a kid growing up in Japan. Even though it's a traditional car and maybe perhaps it's a bit soft and cushy and not meant to be a performance model, there's a bit of an allure and amazing uh, image associated with Crown for those of us who grew up there. Lots of speculation from Japan, including some images as you see here. If it looks anything like this, wow, it could look pretty amazing and cool. And the Crown should go on sale sometime September, October timeframe, which means a couple months before that should be the actual introduction and the media preview. And so perhaps by summertime, we will know a lot more about this new Crown, which could kind of shake up the market. Finally, in terms of new models for 2022 calendar year, the Corolla Cross should finally be available as a hybrid sometime later in the year, perhaps October, November timeframe. That is something that we've been talking about already, so there's no surprise there. And the Corolla Cross with the Corolla Cross hybrid would be important one to punch for Toyota because that segment is growing like crazy and it's going to be a very important model for Toyota. So that covers the important milestone for 2022 calendar year. But perhaps later in the year, like uh, late fall, we might see some other refresh, such as maybe the CHR, which needs some updating, and maybe even the Prius might get a refresh as well. So those are something that could happen between October, November of this year on to January, February of the 2023 calendar year. And then as we get into spring of 2023, I suspect there'll be more milestone product. That includes, yes, the new Toyota 4Runner, which is a sixth generation 4Runner. That was supposed to be introduced in 2022 calendar year, and somehow it's missing from the leaked document from a dealership that's all over the internet now in the Tundra Forum and 4Runner Forum, and it's not in there. So it's obviously not going to be introduced this year, which is a bit of a sad news, but perhaps that's because the 4Runner is selling so well, and they don't have to rush and introduce a sixth generation version. I suspect though that new Forerunner will still come out 
in spring to summer of 2023 calendar year, which means they will likely introduce it sometime February time frame. So my best prediction is that there will be a sneak preview or a bit of a preview for the new Forerunner in February time frame next year for introduction in March, April, May time frame, which kind of coincide with what Toyota normally does uh, from year to year. So that Forerunner is a lot to look forward to and I talk about it quite a bit in my videos uh, and I'll continue to talk about it. But yes, it will likely migrate to a turbocharged four cylinder, um, but retain body on the frame and hopefully also retain the Japanese factory manufacturing because that's where we want the Forerunner to be built. Now there's some rumor that the Forerunner might move to Mexico in terms of production. I don't think that's going to happen, but that is still a possibility. But let's hope and pray that the Forerunner will stay in Japan because that's where it should be produced along with the new Land Cruiser Prado uh, and also the Lexus GX. And more on the Lexus later on, but let's carry on with the Toyota products. So Forerunner in the February, March, April time frame and also a new Highlander model called the Grand Highlander should come out I think in summertime. My best guess again, my personal opinion is that the Grand Highlander will come out in uh, June, July time frame, which means that you'll be introduced to public uh, a couple months before that. So spring time frame, maybe March or April, it should be introduced. And that will foreshadow the Lexus version, which is called the Lexus TX. And lately we're hearing more rumors about the TX, but the Grand Highlander, I believe, will be introduced before the Lexus version. That's quite a full calendar ready for next year because we have the Forerunner and the Grand Highlander all happening with some refreshes possibly for the CHR and the Prius. And also later in 2023, perhaps the fall of 2023, we should see some refresh happening for older models such as the Corolla and the Camry. But there's one more big milestone introduction happening in 2023, which should be the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. That is perhaps the most important model introduction for Toyota because it's an anchor for the truck family within the Toyota and it sells so well. So that Tacoma should be happening um, by fall or late fall of 2023 calendar year kind of following the footsteps of what happened with the Tundra last year. So perhaps we will see a sneak preview in September of 2023 for the 2024 Tacoma with a formal introduction happening a couple months later and perhaps November, December, we will actually get to drive it. That Tacoma will retain again body on the frame, but move over to the new TNGA F platform, which is basically a smaller shrunken version of the Tundra and will continue to be produced in the Mexico factory, which is where it's being produced currently. In fact, two factories in Mexico are currently producing a Tacoma, and that should carry on because it should be the volume leader for Toyota in terms of trucks. And it's a very important model with so many competitors which have already introduced newer versions. So it's kind of late in the game, but Toyota as usual should come up with something that's very compelling and very convincing because Tacoma has always been a great truck and I can only imagine the new model will be amazing as well. It will likely move to a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine though with a possible combination of a hybrid. Uh, so that will be a very interesting powertrain to look into as we get closer to the date. But obviously right now it's still too far away so not much speculation out there. But I'm quite sure that the Tacoma will be introduced sometime in the fall of 2023 and that we will able to see it or drive it before the end of calendar year 2023. And that wraps up all of the major milestone introductions in 2022 and 2023. Did I miss anything? Did I not cover every single model in terms of the new model introductions or refreshing? Please let me know in the comments below and I'll create more videos about the future product. But once again, this is my personal opinion and so therefore I could be off by a few months or more. Um, but I suspect or predict these are the dates and the timing for all these new models coming out. And I'm also going to create more rendering so I can hopefully predict what these things look like and create images as I have done before for Tundra uh, and also for Sequoia. Thankfully those predictions were pretty accurate for the Tundra and Sequoia. So perhaps I can use the same method and approach to predict other future models and share that with you in my channel. So that's it for now folks. Please uh, consider subscribing or giving me a thumbs up and making some comments below uh, because I'm going to continue to work on this and actually create something similar to predict the Lexus models as well. So until next time, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.